Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Five positive ways for you to build your belief in yourself. Now, self-belief is one of those crucial things that you're going to need as an entrepreneur that's building a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And now is the age of the entrepreneur and I don't want you to get left behind because you've got poor self-esteem. You know, the world that we're entering now is, is, is a new age and it's the age of the entrepreneur. And if you're a coach, consultant or small business owner, you need to be obviously able to serve your clients and in, in be able to create for and relate to the people you're going to be um, working with simply because you ha- are confident in the value that you're going to be putting out there. So you have to be agile as a small business owner and you have to be flexible as an innovator. And all of this um, needs confidence that only uh, ourselves can push you know, ourselves in order for us to achieve these things. All the other dinosaurs that, um, you know, built businesses in the past, they're now left in the industrial age and they're now being outpaced by fast-moving startups, ambitious small businesses and technological innovators like you and me. It's time to quit working so hard and I want you to break free and follow your dreams and make a fortune along the way. You know, when you were growing up or when you were starting out in business, you probably had hopes and dreams and goals and things that you aspired to be. Are you doing the things that maybe 10-year-old, 11-year-old you wished they could do when they grew up? I know I wanted to be a pilot and I'm still working towards that because I know I've I've been looking into, um, you know, getting uh, flight lessons and it costs from about 250 to about 450 an hour for you to have, um, you know, um, to start getting your, your, your learner pilot license, okay? But I know one thing for sure, 10 year old me would be so mad right now if he realized that I have enough money in my pocket to buy me whatever candy and toys that I wished for at that age, but I'm still not doing that. Okay. So you might have um, aspirations that you had as a kid or growing up, and you might have wanted to be a president, a lawyer, a doctor, or something that was around you at that particular time based on the influences that you might have had. And maybe it didn't turn out like that. Um, Just make sure whatever you're doing and whoever you're becoming is at least somebody that you're going to be at peace with moving forward. And you got to have the confidence and the tenacity to wake up each and every single day to build that person and to bring those hopes and dreams to fruition. You know, when we all start out as kids, we we have really, really big dreams. You know, some of us want to be movie stars. Some want to be astronauts or maybe sports stars. And I know a lot of kids in Australia, they grew up watching the Australian football. So they would have wanted to be, um, you know, football players. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to be a somebody. But something happens along the way. You know, the people we meet, the experiences we go through might just stop us and hinder us or thwart our confidence so we don't quite become that which we have always aspired to become. So one of the things that would happen is we need to constantly be motivated and really Um, work towards having a healthy self-esteem because that's the only way that we can be able to actually be doing have a business that's profitable and enjoyable you know because we are now growing in a place where I'd like to call it online 
prosperity revolution, okay? And um, the rules that created commercial success in the past have actually changed. So we really need to um, go into this revolution with a lot of confidence that we can back ourselves up with actions and, you know, with evidence that we are able to accomplish that which we set out to. So doing what worked yesterday may not bring you success tomorrow, okay? Because each and every small success that you gather along your journey brings and builds upon the confidence that you will have. So for a lot of people, this is going to be a great time of uncertainty and maybe loss because what used to work before no longer works in this day and age. And for others, it's actually a great opportunity, especially if you're a coach, consultant, or a small to medium business, you know? Because let me just clarify what I mean, because you as an entrepreneur, um, you're simply someone who spots an opportunity and acts to make it into a commercial success. You gotta have a healthy level of self-esteem in order for you to stand in front of people, deliver value, and then identify your target market. Even if you are not, you know, confident that what you're saying um, resonates with people, but you're showing up and you're consistent. Okay, so I'm always out there creating content that is either I speak about it or um, I write it to help you become a a better entrepreneur that spots these opportunities and turns them into commercial success so that you have a, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So when I when I started this podcast, I mentioned how we all start out as kids with all these big dreams that we have. Some want to be movie stars, some want to be astronauts, some want to be sports superstars, and we all want to be somebody. But when but then when we get into the real world, it all starts beating us down. And then we start to also beat ourselves down saying, ah, oh, that can't be done or that can't be reached. You know, just following the herd mentality or whatever um, environment that we find ourselves in. You know, when we, we, we get to the point where we have very little or no belief in ourselves. And I'm here to tell you that you're going to need to have um, a healthy dose of self-esteem in order for you to be, to and have um, a happier existence, okay? So I always tell people that they need to be boldly humble because if you're not um, going to have a healthy self-esteem or you have an out-of-control ego, that might actually alienate the people that you are hoping to, um, you know, create for and it might sound like a contradiction to a lot of people well let me tell you something life is full of contradictions but you have to develop you know the ability to find that healthy balance between an out of control ego and a healthy self esteem and you'll be able to manage to move through these um you know contradictions in a healthy way that would then attract the people that will um, pay, stay, and refer in order for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And for you to achieve what you want in life, you have to build yourself up. You have to build your self-belief in yourself. And at the same time, though it's critical, you know, that, that whatever level you reach, you also maintain humility, um, you know, just so that you are approachable and people would want to be around you. I think in Australia, they have something called the tall poppy syndrome. If you become a little bit too much, they either cut you down or they bring you to their level and they obviously know how to operate in that level. So they'll just beat you with experience. So in order for you to navigate into this new prosperity era, you really need to examine your thoughts every step of the way, you know, um, and I want to clarify because there's two parts to this. You want to look at whom you're spending time with, okay? So whom you're talking to, what groups you are involved in on social media, whom are you listening to, you know, because people often surround themselves with those who drain their battery or people who are negative and who don't build them up. And then they become kind of a mutual sort of tear down society. I want to 
urge you to surround yourself with people that are positive, people who build you up, and people who help you create that self-belief in yourself, okay? Because every time you stand up, you want to have people that encourage you and that urge you on in order for you to um, you know, create that which you want to create and the value that you want to bring to to the world. You know, for me, I wasn't always like this, you know. Um, the reason why I'm now passionate about helping coaches, consultants, and small business owners is to grow their businesses. I know what it's like to come from nothing, all right? You see, I was born in Zimbabwe, and that's in Africa. And growing up, life was pretty tough. And we didn't have a lot of money or hope, you know, that I could even amount to anything. And we had no one that we could look up to or any role models to, you know, so to speak, you know. And none of those people could inspire me to reach or expand my horizons. But my life turned and it changed when a bright-eyed uh, Australian teacher came to work at our school and she taught me all about Australia and the incredible opportunities that were, you know, were here, which I'm now experiencing and enjoying currently. And she taught me that, you know, there was a whole nother world outside of my small town. And that world was filled with infinite possibilities for people who dream big and who had the courage to follow their dreams. And for the rest of my time, when I was in school, I worked my butt off so I could learn all that I could. And 2011, I found myself in Australia. All right. So I had people around me when I was growing up that showed me that I could accomplish anything. You know, and this teacher gave me a high level of belief in myself. All right. Because looking at the teacher herself, mathematics was a very difficult subject. And let alone this was a woman who had traveled away from her home. It wasn't heard of in my, um, you know, in my area. So this just echoed this kind of motivation that I never thought was possible. And now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here now and I'm helping other people. And that's why I'm passionate about helping others and being some sort of a role model because a lot of us don't quite have a reference point to see what is possible around us just because we're surrounded um, with mediocrity. You know, I, I wasn't surrounded not by wealth, but I was surrounded by poverty, everything you can think of in Africa. But now I want to help people be uh, surrounded with upbeat, positive and possibility thinking people. You know what I mean? That's just my way of sort of paying back um, what that uh, lovely teacher did for me uh, those many years ago. So I urge you to surround yourself with people that build you up. And the power of association and disassociation is very important power for you to exercise in your life. Just get away from people who make you feel like crap and get around people who actually instill um, or give you uh, belief in yourself. You know, and the second part to this is what you read and what you watch. I, I'm going to say this with utmost love and respect. The media is not there to help you make sense of the world around you. The media is there to sensationalize any given topic so they can sell ads. All right. So what are you watching? What are you reading? Is it about achievement? Do you know, if, if you get an opportunity to see or meet me in person, you would always see that I'm surrounded with books. I'm surrounded with learning. I'm surrounded with knowledge. I like to read, you know, biographies about people who went on and did things and accomplished things in their life. Because some, maybe you are brought up in Australia and you would know of a doctor or lawyer who lived down the road from you and you had maybe a reference point. I had none of that. All right. I had none of that. So by me reading these biographies, I mean, stealing codes and information that never existed so that my brain has a reference point uh, starting from there, you know. And by doing that, I realized that a lot of people go through, you know, self-doubt and struggles and they're always on the bridge of wanting to quit. And that then makes me see how. They went past those, um, you know, uh, problems 
And I, I learn from them. I learn how they overcame that so that I don't have to go through those, um, you know, same mistakes that they made. Because in life, we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute, right? So for us to live a really good life, we have to learn um, from others or others' experiences, etc. And once we've learned that, we need to contribute to other people. And that's why I'm passionate about helping coaches, consultants, and small business owners grow their business because I know what it's like to come from nothing, right? So you want to be very mindful about what you let in your brain because I want you to answer me this. If you cut an orange, what sort of juice do you get from it? Do you get apple juice or banana juice or grape juice? No, you get orange juice. Why is that? Because what is already inside of us is what comes out so what are the messages that are already inside of you that are going to come out uh, and influence your work and actually how you think all right and obviously all of this is going to be too much work uh to get started so just take small steps you know rome was not built in one day right and a journey of a thousand miles um starts with a single step you know, it doesn't have to be drastic change that you cut out people, or whatever it is, you know, just do something, you know, that, that like cut one thing at a time. And I want you to do something you said you were going to do and, and just do things that make you feel better all the time. And how I achieve this is maybe by setting my goals each and every single day, you know what I mean? And, and, and becoming a daily goal setter. That way, you know that whatever you have accomplished in that day um, is something that you wanted to accomplish and you're creating small building blocks towards uh, creating either a happier existence or a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So be a daily goal setter and be a daily goal heater. It's Our life is lived a day at a time, a minute at a time. It's not lived in years or decades or in centuries, all right? Just know what you need to accomplish each and every day and go out there and do it, all right? And then just check things off. This also helps you to feel a little less overwhelmed with life. And, you know, sometimes we have so much meaningless information that we are gathering and it's coming to us and we get overwhelmed and we give up because we lose the main focus of what it is that we are actually wanting to achieve you know there's going to be pandemics there's going to be uh you know stock market crashes there's going to be climate change rara sagas out there every single day just focus on what it is that you want to um achieve and do that every single day and you know whatever is happening out there might not even affect you if you're moving towards your goal it affects those that pay attention to it you know and and a lot of people i'm gonna say this with out of love and respect some people just sit on the sofa and don't do anything they just let life happen to them i i'm urging you to just get a list and knock things off each day and remember inch by inch it's a cinch to get things done and the more you accomplish things the more you're building that confidence within yourself and the more you will be able to raise your hand and say hey i did this today and while you're doing that i can guarantee you your mindset is gonna change you know because we all have these voices inside of our heads um that aren't, aren't always positive and in fact it's often that negative inner voice that sounds the loudest you know, the voice that says, oh, I'm stupid, or oh, I never get things done, or oh, I'm going to fail again. Don't do that. It's it's not good for you. You know, just think about what you're thinking um, about and, and what you're allowing to happen in your mind. And then pay attention to your mindset. Because if you're putting yourself down, just reverse those thoughts and try focusing on positive traits. And... Obviously, we all have them. We all have bad days. But if you're accomplishing small things, as we say, one step at a time, you start gaining a newfound confidence that you never had before. Because what you think about in, you, 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 yourself is actually influencing the results that you then get uh, in every area of your life. All right? So you want to be very mindful about those uh, negative thought patterns 
that are coming your way just because you're not doing anything or you're not keeping yourself busy. I've, I've always heard this statement when I was growing up. They say the, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Obvious. You know, and then the devil, this this side here, we're just talking about maybe um, negative thoughts, you know. You start thinking really bad things or stuff that is not going to move you any further in achieving your goals. And let me tell you something, man. Life is short, so just go for it. You know, like we might think that, you know, it's um, we it's the longest thing that we have, but it does go so quickly. You know, living in Africa, there's there's a lot of uh, poverty and, you know, the life expectancy is usually about 40 to about 50 for males. And I kid you not, I watched people who were getting to my age. Right now, I'm 37. And they were already old and they are already like grandfathers, you know, because they, they just went in and did stuff. You know, and now that life expectancy is now about 60, just just keep doing stuff, man. Because right now, what, what what's the worst that could happen? What are you so worried about? Because most things that we worry about don't really happen and don't really matter even. So just go for it. Because if you're thinking about maybe changing jobs or starting your own business or just because you're hating what you're doing right now, then change it. You're not a tree. You're not stuck there with roots and everything else. Just change it. Don't spend the rest of your life in a rut, not liking yourself or hating what you're doing. Just do something uh, about it. And find belief in yourself and then just go after it. Go after it. Hey, I really want you to succeed. I want you to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So just rein it in. All right. When you've gone out and you've won and when you're super successful and, you know, you have to work like crazy to realize that you're really, really um, have achieved all that you have achieved. Once you do that, just celebrate your successes, you know, help others be that person that becomes a reference point. Um, you know, for others and build your self-esteem throughout. Because at the end of the day, we're here to really, really achieve all that we can um, with the time that we have, okay? I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be easy, you know? You're going to alienate yourself. Um, you're going to go through things that you never thought you would. I was so far away from my family and friends but I created a new family and now, you know, my family here in Australia is much more important than the family that raised me. Not exactly in those words, but you get what I mean, right? And when you start building belief in yourself, everything that you start um, going after becomes um, super, super easy. And other people would also want to help you create that. My role really and my job is to help coaches and consultants scale their business by driving leads and harvesting those leads um, and then converting them into happy clients that pay, stay and refer. People are not going to want to come and work with you if you don't have any confidence in yourself or confidence in your ideas or confidence in um you know, your, your results or anything that you have done. Okay. I I'm inviting you to join um, us and see how we are also helping other people create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Like I said, I wasn't always a successful business owner. I went from small town in Zimbabwe with very little money to founding a growing and thriving digital marketing agency only because I found confidence in myself and I wish that um, on you. So Wherever you found this podcast or whatever uh, channel you're listening from, subscribe to this podcast so that you too can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. 
As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.